Our one last thing tonight is what ties us together. These things and these things. Last night, someone reminded me that for some reason, you and I, our kids, still live in a world where we are judged, bullied, made fun of for how we look, for what we wear. This time, this person said, I can't wear a tie because I'm female. And just because I'm gay doesn't mean I can dress like a man, he said. I want to be really clear on this. Talking about this right now, it's not about me. It's about us. And here's why. Because all of us are an us. You can wear a tie, I can wear a tie, he can, she can, they can, the dog can, the baby can. And it's not just because we all have necks, although it kind of is, I mean we all have necks and they are neck ties, but I digress. We all get to be who we are. It makes no matter who you love or how you identify. And you, all of you proved me right. Look at you. These are the pictures you have sent me in the last 24 hours. They come from all over this country and other parts of the world. They come from California. They come from Rio de Janeiro. They come from Singapore. You nodded up to say, yes, we can. Not just to some guy who said, I can't, but to anyone who ever said, you can't. Because this isn't just about a girl wearing a tie. It's about ending the idea that she, for some made up reason, cannot. If she sees a tie, puts it on and says, this is cool, I love this. A great response, I love it too. Because it's a tie. And it's time that we let go of the idea that the ability to wear it belongs to only some of us and not all of us. Literally hundreds of you sent in pictures saying you would wear a tie with me today and I'm grateful. But the point is, we have real problems right now, real pain, real issues circling around us at an unrelenting pace. We need each other. We don't need to argue about me wearing this. This is not a real problem in the midst of so many real problems that surround us. I appreciate you always. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.